Hey everybody, Jim here with the second day of the Cigar Face-Off Challenge. And I decided to change the format a little bit. I'm doing one cigar at a time. And uh, as we get closer to eliminating a lot of them, then we'll have to group them together a little bit. But in the meantime, I'm going to smoke cigar number three, mystery cigar number three today. So let's get that band off, save it for my band collection because that's so nice. Okay, cut this baby. You can see the color is very dark. Uh, Maduro, it's a Maduro. Smells like a Maduro, looks like a Maduro. Must be a Maduro. Cut the cap off a little bit. Clean myself up. And let's fire this baby up and see what we got. So as you recall, I started with eight mystery cigars. I eliminated two yesterday. One was um, Arturo Fuente Don Carlos, which I got right, and Padron, which I completely botched. So we'll see how I do today on this one. Well, I gave that one a good lighten. Okay. First impressions, definitely a Maduro. Pretty strong. I don't know if I'd give it complete full body. Ah, you know what? I think I'm going to give it full body. It's full body. Pretty good. Pretty spicy, chocolatey, and... Um, Mm. A little campfirey, I guess, would be a good a good term for it. So you can see it looks pretty nice looking cigar, well made, handled the cut well, um, lit up nice. So far, burning evenly. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to smoke this one out and then come back and give you my rating on it and um, try to take my guess at at what it is. So I will see you in a few minutes. All right, I'm back smoking mystery cigar number three and you can see there's a nice ash on it But look at that canoeing and I've been fighting that the whole time. I avoided touching it up I was hoping it would settle in and even itself out and it's getting worse instead of better So that's not necessarily a good thing ash is kind of nice, but sort of grayish black not not uh, it gives me a hint um, of what it is so let me get rid of that ash, and I'm going to relight this a little bit and try to even it, even it out. Put a nice char on it. Remind me of barbecuing. Okay, first let's rate this thing. Um, I don't want to dwell on on the uh, the rating system. We did that in the first video, but construction good, good, but the canoeing is an issue. So um, appearance, very nice looking cigar. Flavor, I got to give this um, not great flavor. It's bitter, it's full bodied, but it really doesn't have a lot of flavor. It kind of settled in, a, eh, you know, not, not a lot there. Kind of a couple puffs were um, ammonia like, which is not a good thing either. So, um, not terrible, but not really memorable either. In the profile consistency over the cigars, it's good. In my overall smoking enjoyment, I'm going to give that. Uh, about a 75% on that, that particular aspect. So, um, an okay cigar. I mean, and there's nothing wrong with it, but it, 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 it was kind of kind of forgettable. So you put all those things together that I just mentioned, and, and it's an, an 82. And if you remember, I gave the Arturo Fuente a 91, and the Padron, I think, an 86. So, this one is the is uh, running running last at this point. Okay, now I'm going to guess what it is. That's the hard part. Easy to spout off about my opinion. Okay, out of the list of cigars that, remember I, I've, I've eliminated two, so I have six left. Out of those six cigars, um, I, I think I, just from the appearance and, and the strength, I think I have it narrowed down to the Diamond Crown Maximus and Liga Pravada number nine. 
I think those are my, my two uh, uh, suspects here. And given its relative so-so-ness, I'm going to go with the Diamond Crown Maximus on this. So that is my guess. Diamond Crown Maximus. That is official. And now we take the very fancy card. Get my producer prepared. Oh, man alive. I, I was, I, okay. Now I'm going to start making excuses for myself. I was close. It, it is a J.C. Newman cigar, but it's a Julius Caesar. Um, a little darker and stronger than... Yeah, and I've smoked a few of those. Um, not many, but but a few. I, I I never remember smoking a Maximus. Smoked a couple Liga Privadas, so I, I I felt like the Maximus was probably the one. Julius Caesar, I've smoked maybe two or three, and I I got to tell you, my opinion of the Julius Caesar was exactly the same as it was the first first ones that I smoked. So at least I got that going for me. So I'm one out of three so far. But hey, this is the cigar face-off challenge. And I really like it. It's really fun to do. Try it yourself. Get somebody to give you some on-label cigars. Have them keep track of what they are. And see if you can guess what they are. Start with four or five so that you have to guess a little bit. But uh, have fun doing it and hopefully enjoy some good cigars. Okay, that's it for today. See you next time.